Hello, welcome to Voices TV. I am your host, David, and with us today is the eSports team. Our team is looking great this year as we be headed off into the championships, crushing West Texas A&M, but unfortunately losing the last game. But we had an amazing season, and we're looking forward towards the next season in the fall. For those who are interested, Mr. Goebel Lynch is having sign-ups for the new chess team that we are also making as a part of the eSports League. We will be looking for more people interested in building up our athletics teams. In today's story, we got the chance to interview with the eSports head coach, Eric Global Lynch, and what it's like to coach this great team that made it to the finals of the National Association of Collegiate Esports this semester. Eric Global Lynch has been leading this great esports athletics team in their inaugural season playing in the Rocket League and see all CE for this competition. Yeah, so I joined the esports program in December mm -hmm. as the as the coach, and um, I don't know. I mean, it was a really good season for us, but there were definitely some growing pains and some difficulties along the way. We um, got started. You know, when, when I took over, there was already an esports structure that was happening because there had been a club that was happening beforehand. Mm -hmm. So this started off as a student run thing and they were looking for a coach to come in and, and bring it more, make it more competitive and um, get the students working a little bit more intentionally. So when I came in, things were a little bit chaotic. It was mostly, mostly the team scrimming themselves and playing against each other in practices. And instead we started to move toward a more focused practice system. We brought in some new players who were really talented, um, which also changed the chemistry a lot of the group. So that first month of the spring semester, really, really going from January going into February, we brought in a couple new players and um, we're immediately jumping into competition, kind of in, in, within like maybe a week mm -hmm. of getting back for that spring semester. Yeah. And now thank you to Eric Global Lynch for this first interview. It looks like we are off to a great start. Our newfound esports team and Landmark is now developing a name for itself in the athletics world. Fortunately, we now have one of the captains and founder of the esports club with us today. Join me is Zachary Hahn. <laughs> Thanks, Zach, for being here. So, um, how did you start the esports team in Landmark? Back in 2020, myself and Petar Petrovic uh, decided to come up with the idea of an esports club on campus, where originally we had four games Fortnite, Apex Legends, uh, League of Legends, and mm. Rocket League. They were only one to to succeed out of that group was Rocket League. And so yeah. uh, for the coming year and a half, we played Rocket League as a, as a group, as a team, mm -hmm. and started to expand to about eight to 10 students. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now we are where we are today. Okay, sweet. So how did it feel when you and the esports team officially became part of the um, National Associate of Collegiate Esports? That was by far the biggest step that this club has ever taken, mm -hmm. uh, this team has ever taken, actually. Yeah. The idea that a whole bunch of neurodiverse students and a whole neurodiverse team can make the um, to make the progress that they did this year yeah, exactly. is ridiculous and amazing. Mm, yeah, so, um, what was it like to have um, Eric Lynch as your head coach? He has been an asset to this team. He has been able to coach us in communications. He's been able to to coach us in looking at video reviews. Mm. But it's not also it's not just him that has helped us out yeah. as well. Uh, former student and alumni, and what we like to call him as our assistant coach, Noah yeah. Jansen, has <laughs> been a key uh, way of us playing Rocket League and a way of how fast we have improved this year. Yeah. So um, how did you feel when you first had your inaugural season in the AAC and making the finals? I, I had to say when I, we started the semester, when we started off with our first loss, yeah. I never thought we would make the finals. Yeah. But making the playoffs alone is ridiculous. Mm. But making the finals and being the first landmark team in over a decade Dang. to compete in uh, a championship game That's is... Amazing. Uh, something that to be really proud of in our first year. I think, yeah. It's a lot to make it for your first season and making the finals. Yes, it <laughs> so is. It's a lot for it. So, um, last question to finish this off. So, 
What's it like to have some of your friends and classmates be a part of this great esports group of athletes? Honestly, I don't think I, we would be where we are without them. Mm. Communication between friends um, and now a team is key. Yeah. Um, a lot of us play on the soccer team for mm. Rocket League, and that gives us a competitive edge. Yeah, it helps build up to that. Yes, and uh, but also just building the the relationships that we have this semester this team is going to continue going forward this team is also going to stay in contact with these alumni who are either going to be graduating or moving on to a different school and i think that is going to be the group that is going to stick together for mm -hmm. a very long time all right so thank you so much for having me zach it's been a pleasure thanks everyone for watching this has been your boy jb and julia mod this is voice tv and we'll see you next time peace